Hello, Intermediate Algebra students. Um, let's get started. We're going to try and get through this video as quickly as we can. Um, this one's a little bit involved. Of course, it's one of the, uh, uh, the higher level thinking ones on Khan Academy. So let's get to it right away. Here is our first equation here. In fact, so we don't get confused, I'm going to move a couple of these off the screen temporarily so you know exactly which one we're working on. We'll bring those back when we're ready for them. So here's our first one we're going to work on right here. Um, they want to know, so the fish population in a certain part of the ocean in thousands of fish as a function of the water's temperature um, is modeled by this function right here. So here's the function right there. And they want to know what is the lowest temperature, what's the highest temperature. Basically what they're asking for is what are your x-intercepts um, on this kind. So if they want something like lowest and highest type temperatures, they're looking for x intercept. So you're going to notice I'm going to copy down this equation, only I'm going to make one mathematical um, adjustment right off the bat. You will notice when I did this, um, I'm starting with x squared minus 20x plus 36, which is different from what they gave us over here to start with. Take a moment. What did I do just for the very first step? How did I go from a negative 2x squared to a positive x squared? I divided by anyone? negative 2. Good job. So I divided everything by negative 2 right off the bat to get a positive x squared to lead off things. Then I just simply did my diamonds and my rectangles. Um, I factored this. I thought, what are two numbers that multiply to positive 36 that add up to negative 20? And those two numbers would be negative 18 and negative 2. So when I apply a zero property product to those two factors, um, I get x equals 2 from this one and x equals 18 from this one. So those are my two limits which means my lowest temperature is 2, my highest temperature is 18. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's one way that we'll ask a question on this one is for basically your x-intercepts, your lowest, your highest, or something like that. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, on this one. Uh, let's move this one out of the way for a second so we can keep focused here. The number of mosquitoes in Anchorage, Alaska, in millions that is, is a function of the rainfall. So basically, as it rains, mosquitoes come up to a certain extent. Um, what is the maximum number of mosquitoes? So if we want to know the maximum number of mosquitoes, they're actually looking for the highest point, the point where you get the very, very most. You should know on a parabola, the highest point is your vertex. So in this one, we actually need to work it to the vertex. So I'm going to take, I'm going to copy down this one. This one I actually did copy down the way it was put in. Um, but immediately you're going to notice, I said, what do they have in common? I pulled a negative x out right away. So I think it's easier if you pull that negative, because we always want that first term to become a positive if, poss if possible. So I pull a negative x out of both of them. That changes the positive 14x into a negative 14x. I then apply zero property product. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a property product at that point, and I get this x would equal zero and the second one would equal 14. So that's where I got to that. Now, if you look at your two x-intercepts, you know that your vertex happens where in according to those two x-intercepts? Right in the middle, exactly. And what is right in the middle of 0 and 14? You would probably say 7, which would be correct. So the vertex is when x equals 7, but we want to know how many mosquitoes are over here. What's the highest point? So as we plug 7, into our original equation right over here, or this equation right here, plug 7 into there, what does that equal? And in this case, it comes out to equal 49. You're certainly welcome to do the math if you don't trust me. So our answer for this one is that we would have 49 million mosquitoes um, if we had 7, uh, 7 something of rainfall, centimeters of rainfall. There you go. All right, let's do the very next one. I'm going to scroll this up. And we got this question. All right. An object is launched from a platform. Okay. Um, its height in meters, uh, height in meters, x seconds after the launch is modeled by this equation. What is the height of the object when it was launched? Okay. Well, in this case, they're telling you the height of it when it was launched. Basically, they're meaning what is the y-intercept of this uh, equation. And the y-intercept of this one was just quite simple. It is 60 meters. 
So if they're asking you for the y-intercept, it's a really simple one. So these are simple. So, so far they've asked you three different ways, and this is the only three ways I found on there. They're going to either A, ask it to you in find your x-intercepts, which is this type, kind of a highest, lowest temperature type thing. They might ask you for a vertex. When did it reach a maximum number of something or other? <clears throat> or they're going to ask for what did it start at? What was the starting point for that? Now, if you take a look at this question right here, this very last one, I haven't I had a little problem with this question, okay, when they asked it a different way. So I'm going to explore that with you. It says an object is launched from a platform, but they don't tell you the actual height of the platform when they started this one. I know that if we accept it that it's a y-intercept, it's at 60, but if we don't know that in advance, I had a little issue. But I'm going to walk you through how to get through this. So the first way I did this is I just solved for my uh, wants to know how, after how many seconds did the object land. Well, in that case, if we do, um, you'll notice I divided everything by negative 5 first to get to here. So I took this equation here, divided everything by negative 5, and I got to this equation. I did my diamonds or rectangles or factored what two numbers multiply to make negative 12 but add up to make negative 4, and that would be negative 6 and positive 2, which means my x-intercepts are 6 and negative 2. Okay. Well, here's the deal. If the object was launched at a platform that was on ground level, the object actually would have been in the air for eight seconds. Okay. But on this Khan Academy, they're making an assumption every time they launch, they launch from zero. So they always start at zero. So in that case, the negative two would not make sense. So if they started from zero and launched it, then it would have been in the air for only six seconds long if that makes sense so if you get this type here where it says after how many seconds would it land on the ground just know that they are anticipating that you are starting at zero seconds and it will then land how many seconds later after that so when you do this work right here it's the positive value not the negative value so hey this one in particular i'm willing to give you guys all sorts of help on i'm willing to give you help on all of them anyways but if you need help, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will walk you through this. I've had several students do that. I'm happy to help you through them. Um, please reach out to me on Google Hangouts, and we will get you through this. Good luck. Enjoy your day, and hope things are going well. Bye-bye.